Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Adam, and thank you so much for joining me again as we return to Parasite Eve. Here we still are, in the dressing room here, and, well, after last time, we have a new friend. Because uh, I had to go back and do a couple things off camera and replay the introduction bit there to get back up to this point due to some emulator difficulties. You know, those things just happen all the time. So, let's go ahead and uh, talk to our new friend. See, see how he's doing. Well, it seems like he's doing fine. You know, he's not dying or on fire or, any, or anything like that. So, we have something to do. Or rather, someone to go pay a visit to. But before we do that, there is one more thing we can do here. Or rather, one more thing we can grab here. Because somehow or other, I completely missed it last time. You see, I could have sworn that there was something to, else to grab in here, and it turns out I was right. It's around here somewhere. Where is it? It should be here. Should be being the operative word. Did I already get it? No, it doesn't look like I did. So, where is it? Hmm. The map I'm using tells me that there should be a uh, weapon here. Oh, there we go. Well, that was, uh... Strange. As often as I was investigating that cabinet, you'd think it would have opened sooner. But apparently not. So, let's finish off the rat. Get more ammo. And for our trouble... My inventory is full. Well, we can't have that. So, let's go ahead and use a medicine. And free up an inventory slot. And in here we find the P220. Interesting. What does this do? Well, as we can see, it holds one less bullet, but has three more attack and four more range. Excellent. We'll go ahead and use that. And we also need to... Well, let's take the ammo out of our old pistol and put it in our ammo crate. Because we're going to need every bullet we, we can get at some point. So the P220 is already fully loaded. Excellent. So, let's go ahead. And now we can move on. But as long as we're here... Yes, in this game, they don't just have random battles lying around everywhere, all over the map. There are specific hot spots around the different maps, and you can only get in, get in, get into battles in one of those areas. So, if you want to get into battles, it's a good idea to uh, leave areas and come back to explore the same place over and over again, more or less. So, we'll leave the medicine behind. It's slightly less valuable, given that we have our heal, uh, our heal parasite energy power. And so, with our new weapon in hand, we can move on. Oh look, another battle. How delightful. And we're now officially at the point where we can take out these rats in one shot. Ah, level ups. They do a body good. 
apparently they do wonders for your marksmanship as well. So, we continue on this way. And there's only one thing we can really do in here. Head back behind the piano. Where'd she go? And let's jump in. What could possibly go wrong? Down we go, and we're in the sewers now. Fantastic. So, let's go. Time to slog our way through here and get into another random battle. This time against three rats. Luckily though, we are getting quite a bit stronger, so we can take them out in one shot each. So that's no real problem. And, after that battle, Let's go ahead and reload. Just in case. Never know when we're gonna find more enemies. See what I mean? They're just all over the place down here. Oh goodness. Well, that is something else, isn't it? Tough little critter, huh? Let's see here. What are you? 8 out of 34 HP left, sensitive to cold. Good to know. Not that it really helps us much, because we don't have any kind of elemental abilities or anything. At least, not yet. We'll get some of those eventually. So, up here, we find the M1911A1. This has even more range, more power, and it has a three-shot burst ability. So, we will definitely go ahead and use that. And, as you can see, it also has another open slot for putting extra effects on there, once that becomes relevant. It's not relevant quite yet, but it will be soon. So, let's go up these stairs here. And we can come down here. And pay attention to the area below. And also, watch out for rats. Let's see here. Oh, apparently one shot wasn't quite enough. Yes, that's right. Now there's the downfall of having a higher burst fire. When you get above, when you get above firing two shots at, at once in a, in a single burst, your the damage of each individual shot begins to slowly decrease, which is rather unfortunate. So for the most part, a two or three shot burst is the most that is the most that you want on a weapon. And as I said, pay attention to, to down below because if you look here, you'll see there's the chest in each corner. We can't get them from up here, because they're on the level below us. So, technically speaking, there's nothing up here except that battle with the rats, and a clear view of the of the treasure chests, or the chests down below. Not that the battle is particularly hard, but still. You're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? And once more, 
the mysterious little girl just runs away. Wait, little girl, don't go. Well, things just get more and more mysterious around here, don't they? Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. And so, if we use the uh, look we got from above, we can come down and grab the treasure chests here. Which, technically, you, you can see them down here if you look carefully. They're just hard to see. So let's see, what can we replace here? We find another offense plus one item. Handy! And we can trade out our end vest for that, because we don't really need it. Although, we could also swap out a medicine for that. Just to hold on to our vest, because, well, it might come in handy later. So, no, no reason to just let it go to waste. If I can find the chest again. Work with me here, camera angles. There we go, finally. All right. So now we come back and we go through the door the mysterious little girl went through. Not before we grab this chest. What's in here? We're not going to need this. We find a medicine. Oh, well, we can make that trade-off. So, if we come down this way, we get in another random battle. With two of these things. Oh boy, what fun. So, we have to remember not to come into contact with these things while they're jumping. As that just wouldn't be a good idea. And we also have to make sure to watch out for them in general, because they have quite a range on their attacks. They're definitely quite a bit more of a, of a threat than the rats and birds from, from up above in the theater. But they're still, they're still fairly easily taken down. So... Let's heal up after we got kind of knocked around by those rats, or toads, whatever you want to call them. Hmm. So apparently this gate is, is completely locked, so we're not getting through there. So, what do we do now? Well, there's really, there's really only one thing we can do, I guess, and that's go back. So, where do we go now? Well, there is this gate-looking thing down here, but that leads nowhere. So, where exactly do we go then? That's a very good question. I can't quite remember offhand where we're supposed to go. So we can use the phone here, and it functions as a save point. So we'll go ahead and save, because you know how games like this are. They don't just give you a save point for no reason. There's a switch, there's a switch and an emergency phone. Let's press the switch. That opens up the gate. Handy. So. We go through the now opened gate, and we find Eve waiting for us. So let's go see what she's up to. Hold it right there. My body, my body's getting hot again. Ha 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 ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else but you. You are... Tell me, Eve! Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. Eventually. 
I hate it when people are cryptic like this. Even if you don't understand, don't worry, your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think, and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Well, how delightfully vague. And how not actually answering any of our questions. But Eve decides to just slip off. And do this disgusting thing. Yeah, that's lovely. Apparently, being some kind of mitochondria powered strange lady that has a tree growing up from under your dress gives you the ability to turn into jello and summon giant mutated sewer crocodiles as well. Well, he looks fun. This is going to be great. There are two targets. Yes, there are indeed two targets. It might only look like there's one at first. However, there's there's the main sewer crocodile himself, and then there's the tail. We want to take out the tail first. Ow. As not only is it uh, is it a, a, another target, but it also gives him more attacks. That sonic wave attack that, that, that he's been using, as well as that tail slap that, that, that he got us with before. But there we go. His tail is down. And now, we switch tactics a little bit. And not only do we switch tactics, but we switch points of view as well. So. Let's scan him and see what he's all about. HP? Uh huh. Easily tranquilized. Sensitive to heat. Strange that it says he's sensitive to heat when he has fire breath. But what do I know? Maybe that's why he's sensitive to heat. Combustible gases and all that. So, let's just keep firing away. And down he goes. That wasn't too hard. And for our trouble, we get a Kevlar vest. But we can't, we, we can't carry it. So, what do we do? Well, we'll have to trade out an item. So what do we trade out? Why, of course, one of our medicines, with a Kevlar vest. And so, I think we're, uh, I think we're done. And so, after we play Exterminator for the Sewer Crocodile, when I will awaken, just tell me what you want, Eve! Aya is understandably not very thrilled about everything that's happened here tonight. We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just... Leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. <gasps> Ooh! Dang! Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy! Daniel. Well, looks like our savior has arrived. Sorry I'm late, Aya. Better late than never, pal. 
Especially if it means we, we get to see you punch out up, uppity r reporters. Aya, you okay? That was so, that was really something that happened back there. Yes. Oh, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Ha 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 Uh, sorry your date didn't go well. <clears throat> It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places. The opera? There's a story. Ha! So, why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. Caught my eye. Don't tell me you were onto this case. Ha ha ha. So you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct? Daniel, couldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things on people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Would you like to share with the class, Aya? Hey, Aya. You asleep? Oh well. Don't blame you. After what you've been through tonight. Yeah, I has had it pretty rough tonight, all right. Can't really blame her for wanting to take it easy for a little bit. Or at least for kind of dozing off now that she's out of the mess. It all started with this incident. Six days that would have become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but it was also six days filled with familiar memories. Well, how delightfully melancholy. So, after all that, where do we end up? I'm glad you asked. We move right on to day two, fusion. Yes, all of the days in this game have rather interesting names. So, we're going to pause right here, and that'll be all for this video. So, when we return, we'll move on to day two and see just what the heck is up with Aya and what's going on in the aftermath of that event at the Opera House. So, until then, well, until then, see you next time, everybody.